Well, hey, YouTube, welcome back, my friends, once again to Jack's Photo and Tech. Guys, today we're looking at Photoshop Elements 2025. If you looked at my previous video, and I hope that you watched that video, as I was doing a comparison between 2024 and 2025, you would have noticed right away that I tried to import pictures in the camera raw format, and it didn't work, okay? So I'm going to show you, this is pretty much in every version. I did a video about this some years ago, and I've been getting a lot of good comments even recently on it. So I thought I would create a video here to show you what happens when you try to open up camera raw images. First, first, let me say thanks to everybody out there for subscribing to these videos. I do appreciate your time and your effort to come back and watch the videos. Secondly, if you like this kind of video, definitely hit that subscribe button. I would truly appreciate it and give it a big thumbs up. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started in looking at this. So in here, I have the new uh, Elements 2025 organizer opened. And whenever I open these when I'm playing around, I'm still on a seven-day trial period. I like to take and create a new catalog. I don't want to convert my other catalog because I still want to use 2024 because I paid for that version. Well, let's go up here at the top. We're going to click Import. Okay, Files and uh, from Files and Folders. We're going to look at here. I know I got this folder here from Maine, and I shot all the images in Camera Raw. Well, if you look at this thing, I'm going to open this up a little bit. All these with ARW, you see where it says ARW, will not import because obviously they're shot with my Sony, my A6000, which, yes, I'm still using it because it's a good camera and solid and it still works. But if you look at these, I can't import these. Now I can import this one as a PSD file, but not the camera raw images that I want in my organizer. So let's go ahead and see if we can't fix this. I think I found the fix. I'm going to try to walk through this and hopefully it works. That's the uh, thing here between, you know, kind of not really a live video, but live demonstration. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the help menu. You can go down where it says install camera raw. Okay, why that's not installed by default with the package, I have no idea. Maybe most people don't use it. Um, I do. If I'm shooting professional shots or when I was doing weddings years ago, I shot everything in camera raw because you have a lot more control over those images. So let's go ahead and click on it and see what happens. All right, it's going to want my super secret password. Let's put that in. And it's an add-on utility. That's kind of interesting because I would think it would be the, a necessity, uh, necessity uh, to have in here. So it picks my location. Okay, we're going to click continue and see if it uh, installs it here. And uh, it is installing it. Now, I have no idea how large this is, so I'm going to go ahead and take a sip of coffee. Oh, wait, there's a conflict. Uh, boy, that's a problem. So please save the work and close the following program users are logged into. Photoshop Elements 2025 Organizer. Okay, that's what I'm in right now. Uh, and Photoshop Elements Editor. Okay, I don't think the editor might still be open. I don't know. Let me take a look here and see if I have it open. Uh, I do. Okay, so it's right there. It is open. So I'm going to close the editor, the 2025 editor. Okay, let's get rid of that. No, I don't want to save that photo. Okay. And it wants us to close the organizer. So let's go ahead and we're going to close the organizer. Uh, nope, we're going to skip it. We're not going to back up. Okay. So now as everything's closed there, we'll give a second to make sure the programs are closed down. Now we're going to click on continue. Okay. So it's obviously installing these plugins, which are back end applications to the primary application. Does that make sense? So uh, it's an add on. So the program, when it loads, it has to see the add on. So that's why they want you to obviously close it. Uh, it's installing 2%. Why is it in the only installing 2%? I have no idea. But what I'm going to do here is, I don't know how long this is going to take, but I'm going to take my phone out, start my stopwatch, and we will see how this looks. Let me see here. Let's go to stopwatch. Stopwatch, it's still on 2%. And I'm going to pause this video, and I'm going to start this right now. When I come back, I'll tell you the completed time. Okay. To be quite honest, that was not really terribly bad. It does depend on your internet speed. I can tell you that. So depending on what internet speed, because it's pulling down the uh, plugins. Okay. So it was like six minutes and 30 seconds to get that installed. So 
you know, maybe it's too large of a piece of a, a, a plugin or a package to include with the overall uh, install. I don't know why they did it that way. But anyway, uh, once it was done, it opened my editor up. But we want to look and see the organizers, what we're looking for here. Let's see if I can't find the organizer. I'm thinking it closed everything out. It did. All right, let's go back into 2025. Bring this back up here. Okay. Let's go back in the organizer because that's what we were really concerned with. Getting the photos. I'm not importing anything at the present moment. It did open it up too large again. So let me try to resize this thing. Let's see here. I'm just getting it resized so it's back within the frame of the video that you are watching. Okay. All right. So now if this worked, I should be able to import my photos uh, from the Finger Lakes. If it didn't work, I'll have to try something new. Let's go back to import now and see if we can't get our camera raw images. Now this is for pretty much every current camera on the market. So, you know, I told you I'm using a Sony. This is not only for Sony's. It'll work for Nikon's. It's going to work for your Canon's. Uh, pretty much any camera system you have out there. Uh, I guess it was main, huh? That's the ones we were looking at. But now you see where the camera raw are selectable. Okay, they're not grayed out anymore. So that worked, installing that camera raw. So we are going to go ahead and select all these photos right here. I did that by hitting my command or control A. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull all these in. This is from main of 2019. All right, let's do that. And there we go. So now camera raw is working. Um, and I can also say the organizer seems snappier here in 2025. I don't know if it's just me or if there's one. Not, okay, there's one that did load. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to click the first one here. And I'm going to do a commander control A again, select them all. And we're going to create a new album with all those in it. As you can see, if you select them uh, beforehand, you can see they're all in there, right? And this was, um, this was, uh, 2019 main motorcycle trip. Okay. And now we can put those in there. Okay. There we go. Let's deselect everything. Uh, let's see. Well, I don't know what that did. But anyway, let's go here. There we go. So now they're in an album. All right. Okay, with that said, let's go ahead and see if they'll open up with the camera raw editor. Okay, this is another big one. So let's grab one of these pictures. I love these pictures, especially these sunset pictures that we took uh, when we were actually in Maine. Uh, a lot of these are traveling, obviously, to Maine and home again. Let's go ahead and double click this one. We're going to open up any editor. Okay, well, it didn't open up any editor, it just made it full screen, which is nice, right? It's a nice picture. So we're going to right click on it. We're going to go down to edit with photo elements at edit with the Photoshop elements editor. Let's click that and see if it opens up in the camera raw editor. And for some reason that one did not. Okay. So I don't understand that at all. Why it didn't open up in camera raw. Okay. So let's go back <clears throat> to the organizer. Okay. We can do that simply by clicking down here at the bottom, go back in the organizer doesn't show me the file name let's try to see the file name here uh, i know we can do this i know we can do it i know we can do it that's the rating uh nope tags and info let's look here all right uh, events information of the photo it's not showing me there's some metadata oh wait document type is jpeg okay Obviously, I picked a JPEG out there. How did I do that? I don't know. Let's go back to the grid view. Try to open up something else here. Let's see if we can't open that in the editor. And there we go. Okay, so that's good. That's what we wanted to see. All right. So we wanted to see that the picture was going to open up first. In the raw editor, you can see up here where it says um, Sony uh, ALCE 6000. It's an A 
RW files. So this is a camera raw image. And we can do all of our camera raw stuff here. I'm not going to show you that. Well, I'll go back through that uh, on another video. I just wanted to, in this video to show you, if you're having trouble opening camera raw images, make sure, and I would do it in the organizer, okay, even if you don't use the organizer, go in the organizer, go under the help menu. We'll see if we can see this again. Let's go under, let's cancel that out for right now. Go back to the organizer, go under the help menu. You're going to go down here to install camera raw, okay? When, once it goes to install, you have to close your application. So if you're using the organizer at that point, close the organizer, close the editor, and then you can install. Once it installs camera raw, once the plugins are installed, reopening application and Photoshop elements will be just fine. Okay, so that's how you install camera raw. And I'm going to open this up one more time in raw, just so I can uh, use it for a, uh, I'll use it for a screen or for a thumbnail. There you go. Okay. All right, folks. So if you enjoyed this video again, you know, please don't hesitate. Give a big old thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more photo, uh, Photoshop elements content. There'll be a lot of stuff coming out here. Um, like I said, I got some plans on doing some more photo editing. Just to uh, get back into the game a little bit, I haven't done a whole lot of photography lately. I've had other uh, outside influences taking over, uh, mainly too many hobbies for one guy, I guess. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, uh, if you liked it, give it a big old thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And guys, until next time, keep those shutters clicking, keep your editors editing, and I'll see you back here in another video. Thanks, take care, and I'll see you then. Bye for now.